Hey guys, today we're going to find out what ancient Indians thought about the shape of the earth. Did they think the earth was flat or did they think the earth was round? First, let's look at this visual created according to an ancient Indian text. This is the flat earth model. It's made up of seven concentric oceans and land masses distributed on a flat plain. At the very center, you can see a beautiful island called Jambudweep, and you can see a golden mountain rising up like a cylinder resembling the axis pole. So the flat disk is made of land and water, and at the end of this disk, there are large mountains surrounding this flat earth. This is a very interesting model to see this giant wall surrounding the edge of the flat earth because this is how the new flat earth model looks. According to modern flat earth supporters, the earth looks like a flat disk and its edges are protected by a giant arctic wall made of ice. There are photos of these ice walls on the internet. The resemblance between the new model and the ancient Indian model is uncanny, even though the ancient text, which talks about this, is at least 1,000 years old. I could not find the original source for this animation because this was sent via email, and I would gladly give credit for the original creator, so email me if this is your video. There is another fascinating detail in this model. It shows the sun and moon moving around in the sky in chariots. This is also very interesting because this is the same detail in the modern flat earth model as well. Of course, without the chariots and horses. According to modern flat earth theory, the earth is stationary and the sun and moon are moving around it. In ancient India, several texts and stories talk about the flat earth model. Now, why does Hinduism have to talk about the shape of the earth? Because there is a particular story where Lord Vishnu takes the form of a giant wild boar and he lifts up the earth. This is a very popular story and it is carved in many ancient temples. We're actually quite lucky to have this Hindu story because it helps us understand what the ancient builders thought about the shape of the earth. Because of the story, the sculptors carved the earth in many, many ancient temples and I always try to see how the earth looks in the point of view of ancient sculptors. And I have also been disappointed many times because the earth is mostly shown as a woman. So you cannot tell if the sculptor thought of the earth as flat or round. The boar here is Lord Vishnu and he's lifting up the earth and the earth is called Bhu in Sanskrit. In Mahabalipuram, which is a very ancient site, Vishnu is shown holding up the earth in his arms. The earth is shown as a young girl. This type of holding the earth in his hands is also a very popular depiction. Again, this does not tell us if the ancient sculptor here thought of the earth as flat or round. So does Hinduism subscribe to the flat earth theory? Before going into this, we have to look at an other fancy theory that existed in ancient India, concave earth theory. In this theory, some ancient Hindus thought that the earth looked like a hollow bowl. It's a very interesting view because the earth is visualized as a concave structure. This is an ancient statue and you can see this uh, figure is holding a concave bowl-like thing in his hands. Experts are not sure if this represents Vishnu. Some say uh, this represents the ape god Hanuman. But there are also other uh, depictions which show the concave earth model as well. I've shown you two theories from ancient India. One is the flat earth and the other is the concave earth model. 
why do we see these two models in ancient India? Because it's very hard to come to terms with the globe earth model. Let's face it, the first time someone told you the earth was like a ball, your first question was, why are we not falling down? How do you walk on the curved surface of a ball? Uh, why don't we see the curve at all? Let me ask you this, when you were a kid, did you intuitively understand and accept when someone told you the earth was round? For me personally, I remember it was impossible to understand the round earth theory for many years. When you hear uh, that the earth is not only round, but it's also spinning at an insane speed, uh, we don't feel like we're moving at all. So what did the ancient Hindus really believe? The most important point to remember is that there was more freedom of speech in ancient India than what we have now. There were several schools of thought and you could believe in whatever you wanted. Today, if somebody says the earth is flat, then everybody wants to ridicule him or try to convince him with various evidences. But ancient India had much more freedom of speech. You could come up with any theory and even if your theory flies in the face of the established theory, you were free to hold your ideas. The second most important thing was that Hinduism did not have one central authority at any given time. So there was no real head of the religion. In fact, Hinduism was just a way of life. It was just a civilization which had multiple heads and tails. And of course, this is one of the reasons why no one could completely destroy the religion because it was like a thousand headed Naga. Now, let's look at the round earth model in ancient Hinduism. Here, you can see Vishnu as a boar, and you can see the earth right here depicted as a sphere, standing on an axis pretty much like a modern day globe. Here's another one. This is also an ancient carving, and you can see the spherical earth floating right next to the boar. In fact, there are many carvings which show the earth as round. So it's clear that ancient Hindus did have the round earth model as well. This is why the earth was commonly called Bhugola, which means round earth in Sanskrit. But is the earth really round, like a ball? No, it's not. The earth is not round. It's not like a ball at all. About 300 years ago, Isaac Newton first proposed that the earth was not perfectly round. Instead, he suggested it was an oblate spheroid. What is an oblate spheroid? It's like a ball that is squashed at its poles and is swollen at the equator. So the earth is actually like an oval shaped structure, like an egg. But here's a twist, Newton, was not the first person to understand this. Look at this carving in India. This is a 750 year old carving found in Somnathpur temple. And it shows the accurate oblate spheroid shape. The statue is unmistakable. This is Lord Vishnu in the form of a boar. And he's holding the earth. And the earth is not even shown as a sphere. It's shown as an oval. Now, remember, in modern science, north is shown pointing up. But in ancient Hinduism, north is usually shown in the right side, which means the north-south axis is shown horizontally. So this carving accurately shows how the earth is a little bit flattened at the poles and swollen at the equator. And yes, archaeologists do confirm that this statue was carved 750 years ago. How is this possible? Think about this. How did a sculptor understand the level of astronomy and physics of a genius like Isaac Newton 400 years before Newton? The sculptor probably read an ancient text called Markandeya Purana. 
And this text, which is about 1,500 years old, tells us that the earth is not a perfect sphere and it's flattened at the poles and bulging at the equator, which means someone figured this out 1,200 years before Isaac Newton discovered this. This is mind boggling. Now, why did ancient Indians have so many theories side by side, even though these theories completely contradict one another? Because in order for a society to advance rapidly, all theories must be examined and re-examined. I mean, this video by itself shows you some alternate view. It shows uh, alternate history that the oval shape of the earth was not first discovered by Isaac Newton. It was known before him. And we even have archaeological evidence to prove this as a fact. But because this carving is found in India, nobody is talking about this. And I think I'm the first person uh, to show you that this carving shows the oblate spheroid uh, before uh, Newton proposed this theory. But right now, this is alternate history, okay? And of course, some people will call it fake, even though I'm showing you this evidence right in front of you. And... 100 miles from this temple, there's another temple called Hoysala's Rock Temple. It shows a figure holding a telescope looking into the sky with one eye closed and the other eye looking through the device. I mean, it's obviously a telescope. Archaeologists confirmed that this was carved about 900 years ago. But in history books and even science books, we read that Galileo and Lippershe invented the telescope just 400 years ago. So right now, this carving is a part of alternate history because it goes against the mainstream history, which claims that the telescope was invented 400 years ago. But someday, this evidence will be taken into account and then it will become mainstream theory. So a free society must allow all alternate theories freely in order to reach the ultimate truth. Now, is Praveen Mohan the greatest alternate theorist? Absolutely not. I know YouTube deletes my videos, it demonetizes my videos, it will probably not show you this video on your feed because it thinks this video is also a conspiracy theory. But my work is nothing when compared to the work of a great alternate theorist. You know who I'm talking about? It was Galileo. Let's go back 400 years and look at the life of Galileo in Europe. Galileo publishes a crazy alternate theory at that time. He claims that the earth is round. It moves around the sun. And the sun is the center of the solar system not the earth. I mean, this is mainstream science now, but at that time, it was a huge alternate theory. You know what happened to him when he published this theory? The authorities put him in house arrest for the rest of his life. He basically could not go out of his house for 10 years, and he died in his house. And then, the authorities did something even more vicious. They tried their best to suppress all his findings and all his books were banned and no one was allowed to talk about his alternate theory. This is really scary, but history is repeating itself. 400 years later, the tables have turned literally the exact opposite is happening. Galileo's alternate theory has become mainstream now, and the flat earth has become alternate theory. But round earth theorists are not only ridiculing the flat earth theorists, but they're actually trying to suppress information about flat earth theory. For example, YouTube has put in an algorithm to suppress flat earth videos. This is a screenshot from the official YouTube blog. Try searching YouTube for flat earth videos. YouTube will not show you the people who actually talk about flat earth. It'll show you the videos which oppose the flat earth theory. 
And this is very interesting to watch how social media like YouTube and even the scientific community suppresses flat earth theorists with an iron fist. And we can understand something from this. We have not changed that much in the last 400 years. In a truly free society, people must be allowed to examine and re-examine anything they want. You can disagree with them, but if you're going to suppress the alternate point of view, that's not only wrong, that's barbaric. And I think this is the big difference between us and ancient Indians. They were just much more civilized than us, and anybody was free to believe anything. Why is the flat earth theory so popular, right? Because you cannot demonstrate this easily to make me understand that the earth is round. The shape of the earth is a unique issue. Let's take some other problem that we don't understand intuitively. Let's say someone claims that white light is not made of different colors. You can literally do a demonstration and prove it to them right in front of their eyes. But you cannot easily demonstrate and prove the shape of the earth. You can infer this indirectly from some experiments or you have to choose to believe these scientists. So that's exactly what we do today. Most of us just choose to believe scientists. I have not physically traveled to space uh, and seen the Earth's surface from space. I have only seen videos given by scientists. So I believe that the Earth is round, even though I've never seen it with my own eyes. So you too have a choice of believing the scientists or not believing them, but a free society must allow free thinking. It can teach us how to think, but it cannot limit information and it cannot tell us what to think there is a good chance that YouTube's algorithm will think this is a video promoting flat earth and YouTube will suppress it. So please do share this video with your friends. Please subscribe to my channel and click on the bell icon uh, to get all the updates. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and I will talk to you soon.